When you visit an Outback Steakhouse, you pretty much know what you're going to get. A heaping helping of Crocodile Dundee-style shtick, a gut-busting fried onion, and some of the most delicious bread you've probably ever eaten. Assuming you've had the strength of will to pass on an appetizer containing an entire week's worth of calories, what should you order at Outback? Sure, they sell other things, but there's pretty much just one thing to get at Outback — steak. It is a steakhouse, after all. But you still have to choose what type of steak. If you go for a signature cut, there are just four of these — the bone and natural cut ribeye, the Outback Center cut sirloin, the ribeye, and the Victoria's filet mignon. So which one of these is best? Outback describes their bone and ribeye as, quote, extra marbled for maximum tenderness. So if you're a steak lover who realizes that fat is what brings the flavor, this is your cut. No other steak cut offers as much marbling and deep, delicious flavor as the ribeye does. That said, even though Outback's bone and ribeye is one of their pricier options, it's actually quite the bargain considering what you'd pay at a high-end steakhouse. It's important to note that the product details and prices may vary by location. The Outback menu we looked at says this steak weighs in at a whopping 18 ounces, which is big enough to feed two people unless you've both got enormous appetites. While Outback may frown upon plate splitting, as many restaurants do, you could still have your steak-eating partner order something smaller and cheaper and then take the second entree home for later. The bone and ribeye, however, is just too good to let a single bite grow cold on your plate. While some steak lovers insist that steak always tastes better if it's cooked with the bone in, some folks just don't want to deal with having to cut around that bone. If you prefer your steak 100% edible, you could save a few bucks at Outback and also have the option of ordering a slightly smaller size. While those 18-ounce bone and ribeyes are priced at $26.99, depending on your location, boneless ones are priced at $24.99 for a 15-ounce steak or a 12-ounce one for $21.49. McCoby Scribe calls Outback's ribeyes deliciously marbled with, quote, the greatest flavor in the history of flavor. If you're looking to get the most for your money, Outback Sirloin is likely to satisfy your needs. The smallest steak, weighing in at just 6 ounces, costs only $12.49, and when you consider the fact that this comes with two sides, plus that amazing bread, well, you can make a pretty good meal without blowing the monthly budget. If you've got a bigger appetite, you can add another 2 ounces for 2 bucks, or nearly double the size of your steak with an 11-ounce sirloin for $17.99. Hi, I'm John Jalapio, a professional football center, and this is… Centers Eating Center Cuts. So how does the sirloin taste? Esquire's reviewer found it, quote, watery, and the Chicago Tribune said it was, quote, surprisingly lightweight on flavor. Other reviewers have been far less harsh. One TripAdvisor review said the steak was perfectly grilled and tasty, while another said the steak was tender and seasoned nicely. While Bite for Bite Outback's filet mignon may taste slightly better than their sirloin, it's not such an amazing upgrade that it's worth the 60% price markup. The filet mignon, like the sirloin, comes in 6-ounce and 8-ounce sizes, with the smaller size priced at $20.99 and the larger one at $23.99. While that's a lot less than filet mignon costs at Morton's or The Palm, it's still too high a price to pay for a steak that may be more of a miss than a hit. One Yelper found her filet to be unevenly cooked and lacking in flavor, while a TripAdvisor user commented that their Outback doesn't seem to know how to cook these steaks properly. With all the negative reviews on the small yet pricey cut, ordering the Victoria's filet mignon means you run too high a risk of disappointment. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite restaurant chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.